amen and amen good morning beautiful warriors welcome back to my channel i am your host daniel Fikir, founder and ceo of Fikir fitness and i'd like to welcome you back whether if you're one of our ogs or if you're new to the channel Thank you so much for joining in. As you guys see, I was making breakfast while listening to Pastor Creflo Dollar. Um, Pastor Creflo Dollar is a pastor here in Atlanta, Georgia. Every week, Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, he has what's called Daily Confessions where they read Psalms 91, get you Psalms 91 quick for the day as well. He'll go over scriptures. So I listen to that just about every morning just to kind of get my spirit and my, my mind in line. And that's what I do as I'm making breakfast. So this is what I'm having for breakfast, you guys saw. Very simple, this is just um, some peanut butter, honey, and banana on top of an English toast. Uh, very small, low in calories, and something that kinda give me the protein for my morning. Many of you guys need something quick and easy that's high in protein for the morning. Or even as far as for lunch, you can even make this. This is really quick and simple to make. By the way, if I sound like a exhausted, or if I sound like I had a rough night, I did. A little mini me, he whooped my butt last night. He would not go to sleep and I'm not gonna lie to you, he won that battle. So <laughs> he's upstairs right now with mom, uh, Steph, he's sleeping right now, finally. He's a night owl, he doesn't go to sleep. He doesn't know what sleep means at nighttime. We're still working with him as far as with like the sleep training. Um, we're not winning, he's winning. So <laughs> pray for us in that notion. Um, but on a beautiful note, because I stayed up just about the whole night, it is a beautiful sunrise this morning. It looks absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna take a nap. I'm gonna take a nap. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm gonna take a nap. But I'm excited for you to join me throughout today. You guys are gonna see some meals that we've been making to kind of help us to, to have something quick and easy and to make it throughout the day. Join us, let's have some fun. I'm back guys. Do I sound any different? Do I look a little different? A little bit more energetic. Um, didn't really get too much sleep. I got caught in the wormhole of social media. But um, thank God I was able to kind of chill a little bit with baby. Steph's with baby now. He's telling me to shut up. I'm actually just gonna make a, a quick snack. So making a smoothie, you guys remember this smoothie? This is a Dr. Brooke Goldner smoothie. Um, very quick and easy to make. This is how I'm able to kind of get in most of my, like, well, I don't wanna say most of my, but how I'm able to get some superfoods into my body, like the kale. So you wanna do kale, um, cauliflower, broccoli, things like that. These are superfoods that helps to heal the body. A lot of foods that we're eating is actually bad for our gut health. So in order to reverse that, you need to eat things that are actually gonna help to heal the, do the healing process in your gut. Um, there's a lot of information out there that you can just type in for like gut health foods and stuff like that. Dr. Stephen Gundry is one that we talk about a lot as well as far as Dr. Brooke Goldner. She has a smoothie recipe book that has a lot of healing foods in there. So gonna make this one here. Let's get into it. And just like that, here is our healing smoothie. Give it a little taste. Mm. That's good, that's really good. Um, if you are not a fan of greens, like you saw I put a lot of greens in there, you can kind of mask it with the type of fruits that you put in there, like powerful fruits or like, like fruits that has like that overtasting power, banana, pineapple. Um, strawberries what I had in there as well those type of things it overpowers it so you still taste the kale just a little bit but you won't taste it much because you're gonna taste more of the fruits so I always suggest like you know if you're not a fan of greens find those fruits that you love that you love the taste of and put a lot of those in there so that way you don't feel like oh oh my gosh I have to drink this you want to be like oh oh my gosh I get to drink this that's what you want it to be whenever you're doing those type of things because if you are not a fan of it more than likely you're gonna miss it maybe one, two days, and then before you know it, a year has passed and you haven't drunk anything. So, bottoms up. 
For lunch today, we're actually not going to be cooking one. We're gonna make um, one that's actually store-bought. This is Greenwise non-dairy vegetable burrito with citrus chili sauce. This is organic, USDA organic. This isn't one that I normally eat a lot of, but you know, sometimes we do order. Just for those days where it's like, you want something quick and easy to make that still has a protein because this has a lot of beans in there. So you're gonna get a lot of protein packed in here. 11 grams of protein in here, guys. So really good one just to kind of grab and eat. Again, not all the time, but for those days where you just want something quick and easy, this is one of my go-tos. Well, this is one of my new go-tos, not always. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see it. So this is the burrito. Um, in all, it's about two minutes and change that you microwave it for, or you can use like an actual oven or a toaster oven. Um, I just did the, the microwave. I would like to try this one time in the uh, actual oven just to see as far as its firmness and getting it toasty. Uh, this is just like a bean burrito. So anyone who ever tried a bean burrito, it has that same type of taste. Not gonna lie to you though, that citrus is actually a banger. That citrus uh, sauce that they use, it really makes it like, you know, come out strong it enhances the flavor so i actually like it um for those if you guys are not a fan of like uh anything peppery this this has a lot of pepper in it so it does have a little bit of spice a little bit of heat to every bite but i i love that so we're gonna dig into it before we do you know we gotta pray over it Lord God, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for your grace, your mercy, and your love. Thank you for allowing us to be able to have this food, to be able to eat. Thank you for a beautiful day that you have set before us, Lord God. We give you the absolute glory, honor, and praise for being our friend, our savior, our healer, our provider, our redeemer, our Jehovah Jireh, Lord God. Thank you for all that you do and all that you continuously do. Bless this food, Father God, to be of great nourishment and satisfaction to our bodies, Lord Jesus. Anything bad or prayer to you, please remove it. Anything good, help it to be plentiful. Pray for healing, health, wholeness, and wellness in the name of Jesus. And healing, health, wholeness, and wellness in the name of Jesus. We love you, praise you, glorify you, God, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. I have to admit, like, uh, I am a fan of, like, um, like Mexican cuisine, like, um, Cuban cuisine, things like that. So, foods like that, I, I always go for. I always feel like, you know, they give you a good amount so it's hefty, it's filling. And again, it just tastes good. So, let's get that first bite. Wow. Wow. Just try it one time. Try it one time. That's all I'm asking. Just, just try it one time. Again, this is the vegetable citrus. There's two different versions. Try the one with the citrus. Or whichever one you like. They do have like a steak. They have a chicken one. But again, you guys know we like to go the vegan route. So we always go with the vegetable. This is good. And that's well, I'm sorry I didn't tell you guys, but um, I grabbed the mandarin orange. That's been right now my phase. You know, I, have seasons whenever it comes to fruits like a fruit of the month and right now i've been on a mandarin like phase where i've been doing a lot of mandarin yeah i see strawberries blueberries that's always on my uh my staple but i've been loving mandarin so far and gala apples i've been getting a lot of those as of late i don't know that's just been my my craving as of right now and it's so it goes so well especially like with the summer season you feel like that summer that summer feel so i i, I just love it all right This is my happy food dance. For my snack, guys, I'm gonna be doing dry roasted salted pistachios. This is from Publix, another great source as far as for protein. Um, I normally just do this in about like two bottles of water. That's why I'm in the laundry room. I'm about to grab some water here to have with it. But uh, if you're someone who is looking for any type of snack that you can eat, that's kind of filling. I normally do about maybe a handful of pistachios. Not gonna lie to you guys, this can be addicting, so you could probably do even a little more. But just try your best to do about a handful as well, like, you know, maybe a bottle of water or two. And it kind of holds you for a couple hours until dinner is ready. All right, guys, listen, I'm about to make dinner, but I have to be extra quiet because baby Daniel's sleeping right now. And when you wake him up, he is no fun. So I have to be really quiet. Um, I'm just going to show you guys. Um, those of you guys who are part of the channel, you guys remember this recipe from way back. This is a split pea soup or also a lentil soup if you're using lentil instead. Very simple to make. I'm just gonna chop it up, place, you'll see the whole process. Very simple and hot, packed with protein. So something really easy to make that you can make for the family, you guys can all enjoy. Um, let's go down and go ahead and make it.
this smells incredible. I am so excited to dig into this. For those who don't know, like I've, I've said before in the past, my mom was a huge health nut. So lentil was like a staple to our meals, whether we had it with rice, with fish, it didn't matter what it was, lentil was always in there or like sprouts, bean sprouts. So when I smell this, it brings back those childhood memories and it, it makes me a little giddy. It's weird, but it's, that's how I feel right now. Um, let's pray over it real quick. Lord God, thank you so much for the opportunity to be able to make this wonderful meal. Thank you, Father God, for the ingredients. Thank you for just being so wonderful and so beautiful to us, Lord God, and just keeping us alive and well in you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for the people out there who are watching and participating and being a part of this family with us, Lord Jesus. Pray you bless them and their families as well, Lord God. Let this food be of only nourishment and satisfaction to our bodies. Anything bad, please remove it. Anything good, let it be plentiful, satisfactory, and wonderful. Pray for healing, health, wholeness, and wellness in the name of Jesus. And healing, health, wholeness, and wellness in the name of Jesus. We love you, praise you, glorify you, O God. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen. Let's try this out. Oof. All right. It's crazy to me because there's no curry in this, but for some reason that turmeric takes that curry flavor. So it tastes like curry soup almost in a way. For those who might not have turmeric at home, you can substitute with curry as well. You still get that taste. It's flavorful. Um, packs a punch when you add in as far as the red bell pepper flakes. If you like that heat, you can actually do that. If you're not a fan of heat, you can substitute, take out the, the pepper flakes, put in like chilies, uh, peppers or so, and you'll still get a, Tiny bit of heat, but it's gonna be great enough that you guys can eat it and taste that seasoning. This is incredible, guys. Like, I I taste the heat, I taste it. I, I taste like the carrots, the, uh, the seasonings in there, all blends well with it. And it's really good, especially for those of you guys who might be in areas where it might be raining a lot. If you want like a hot meal, really great meal to go with right here. Take one more bite, sorry. Hmm. And because we added in the potatoes a little bit later, like you're able to peel it, bite into it, it's smooth, it's not too hard or firm. Try this, try this one and tell me what you think about it, guys. I, I love this, again, I might be biased because I love that like lentil, but this is one that I always go with, especially something that's packed with protein whenever you're trying to either build muscle, lose weight, whatever it might be, great meal to go with. You guys, I just wanna thank you so much for joining in. Thank you for being a part of this vlog, this journey with us. Thank you for joining in on my day and seeing what I eat. So I'm so thankful to have you guys a part of this family. As you guys know, we never like to close out without giving you an opportunity to know Jesus Christ is your personal Lord and Savior. He is a personal friend of mine and Steph, and we'd like to share him out there with you who may be watching. It's a simple prayer, you just repeat after me. It goes, Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins. I ask you into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen and amen. It's that simple, folks. If you pray that prayer with us, welcome into the kingdom of God. Please get into a Bible-based church where you'll be able to grow spiritually. And if you have any troubles finding one, please get in contact with either myself or Steph, and we'll be more than happy to help you along in that journey. For my OGs, you know what's next. Newbies, come on, say it along with us. Like, comment, subscribe, share, please. <laughs> By doing so, you're just helping us with the algorithm and helping us to share our healthy eating stories with those out there who are looking to do the same. Warriors, thank you. Thank you for being a part of this vlog with us. Until next time, folks, peace.